We don't have the votes in the Senate to actually accomplish a real impeachment. So how does impeaching Trump help with the opioid crisis or the veterans health problems? The answer is, first of all, we're not impeaching Trump, okay? We are engaged in an impeachment inquiry. I have spent probably a grand total of three hours at those depositions. There are only a handful of members who are actively involved on a day-to-day -day basis. The rest of us are doing all kinds of other work. Okay, you got the left trying to destroy the country with socialism and all sorts of kind of crap that come I, I appreciate your input. I don't consider myself to be part of the left. I'm most definitely not socialist. When it comes to the impeachment business, well, we're going to check this out. We're going to check that out. Bull, you're wasting taxpayer money. Let me just say, what concerned me the most, it was the discussion of using American dollars that, that had been for Ukraine. Those are taxpayer dollars in some kind of leverage situation. Yeah, but they've been doing this since 2016. Now give me a break. I think uh, the Democrats are trying real hard to find a crime, and I find that very, very disturbing. I have not prejudged this matter. I, will, I assure you that. Um, I will say that one of the depositions that I spent some time in was Ambassador uh, Taylor's. This is a man who spent many, many years in service, and I think that his testimony will be worth listening to, and that's why I'm glad that we are moving to the public face so that everybody can hear and make their own assessment. My name is Frank Laskowski. I am a, Hi, Frank. I am a fifth generation veteran. I've heard a lot of things in here dealing with this impeachment thing. Right now, I don't give a damn one way or the other about that. What I do care about is the man who served with my father, number first, is being berated, and you have people in the administration, the kids, and everybody else going after him, that just pisses me off. Who are you talking about, Vindman? Yeah, well, Vindman is the one in Taylor, he's only 50 years, he served on first. Right. And I'm gonna be damned if somebody in Washington, or some damn ass mayor don't know his whole, his ass my hole in the ground, Giuliani. When it comes to combat vets, we deserve the respect that we've earned in the uniform that we put on, and we fought for. <laughs> We have a president in the White House who is a five-time draft dodger who said that Vietnam vets were stupid, and now for the first time in his 72 years, people are holding him to account. Is there anything that might be said that could change your mind about... About actually impeaching the president? Yeah. No. He's done nothing wrong. Do you think Democrats are in trouble come 2020? No, absolutely. Let them go ahead with this. It'll, it'll, it'll annihilate them. Annihilate them? <laughs> they don't stand a chance. I'm a Republican. OK. And if Trump ran now, I would still vote for him. Okay. And you don't like the impeachment stuff? You know, it's hard to tell what's true and what isn't true anymore. It's, I don't know. There were a lot of questions about impeachment. You were one of the last Democrats to come out and say, OK, let's move forward with this. Right. There are a lot of people that just feel like this is a Democratic witch hunt, and they are your constituents. Are you worried about how you're going to talk about this decision if it does come to pass? I'm yeah. very, very aware um, that my vote um, needs to take into consideration a lot of people who don't, didn't necessarily vote for me don't necessarily agree with me on things, but it will come down to an issue of what is right and what is wrong, and it's, it's going to be that simple. But you are going to have to face a political reality in November because sure. of whatever happens. Sure, yeah, yeah, that's the nature of this job. Do you feel like within the Democratic caucus, there's a consideration of where moderate Democrats sit on this issue? It's not a matter of whether our concerns are being um, considered, it's a matter of us demanding that our concerns and the concerns of our constituents be considered. And you feel like those demands are being met? Yes, I do. Televised hearings begin next week. Do you think they have the ability to change people's minds? There are a lot of very um, 
independent-minded people. We have a large number of independent voters in this district. We have a lot of people who haven't come to a conclusion on this yet. That's why I think having public hearings is so important. I don't think that this information should be hidden from the public, so I'm, I'm glad they're going to have the opportunity, should they choose to, to, to see and, and read and hear it. You have high hopes. Yeah, yes, I do.